Hey friends, in today's video I have for you a tutorial on how I use my Val Marie Paper 2020 Prayer Journal. This is my prayer journal for this year, 2020, but I'm going to demonstrate how I use it in this six month of prayer journal that I had last year. I didn't use a couple sections out of it because the new year came and I got this one. So I will show you the prayer journal in this, but I'll also show you what it looks like in here. So when you open up your prayer journal, it has uh, like a little welcome letter and over here there's a pouch for you to keep some stuff in if you need. And then you can see there are a couple tabs. There was a third one. I cut the third one out. Can't remember what the third one said right now. But this one says prompts, conversations. I want to say the other one said like prayer or journal or something like that. But I didn't use that section so I cut that tab out to use it for something else so then it just gives you some information about the prayer journal and when you flip into the prompt section it tells you how to use the prompts I'm going to flip to a blank section this is October we'll take a look at that and the blank section in this one as well I think the main difference between the two is that the yearly is already labeled with the months and the six months journal is not labeled with the months yet. There's also a couple extra sections in the yearly that you don't get in the six month, but we'll go over that in a second. So when you start in your yearly, the first thing that they have you do is the challenge. It says write a goal that will help you make prayer a habit. So what I've been writing in this section lately is to pray before I get out of bed in the morning. The six month doesn't have the challenge, so that is one thing that's different about the two. And then the next section that you can write in is the world and nation, and I do have that section in the six month journal as well. So things that I might write in this section might be... Prayer for our nation's leaders. And then there's three more spots that you can put other things in. The next section is my community. So this is pray for needs in your church, neighborhood, or city. They do have that in both journals as well. So something I might pray for, we live in a really rural city. I live outside of the city actually, but the city that I do live in is kind of getting to be run down and Something I pray for often is that we would see a comeback for our town. So I just put comeback for our town. So that's something that I might be praying for for my community. Another thing that I pray for for my community is my church family and the leaders in our church. Then if you go ahead and flip the page, the next section is my loves and I believe that's the same yes it's the same in both journals so lift up your spouse kids future spouse or biggest passion to the Lord so things I usually pray for in this section would be my husband pray for our daughter Allie I'm eight months pregnant right now so I pray for her I pray for our future kids, and I pray for my business in this section because it is a huge passion of mine. So that's how I usually fill out that section. And then the next section is family. It says, place in the Lord's hands those nearest to you. So I usually put my mom and dad, my brother and sister, Tyler's mom and dad and brothers and sisters, and then our niece and nephews. Usually who I put there are like our immediate family. Then on this side is sweet friends, and it says bring before God things that your friends are facing. So 
I won't fill this part out because that's kind of personal, but at the beginning of each month when I fill out my prayer journal, I usually send a text message to my friends and ask them how I can be praying for them that month. And then if anything else comes up during the month, I'll jot it in there too so that they know that I'm praying for them. And this reminds me of what to pray for each of those people. The next section is salvation. And I'm not going to fill this one out either because it's kind of personal. Um, but I pray for a few specific people every month for their salvation. And then the heavy is next. And it says, ask God to help you forgive hurts and love the hard to love. Um, I haven't found that I needed to use this section for that so much. So what I usually write in there is other heavy things that are weighing on my heart, such as families of fallen soldiers or those who are trying to conceive or have miscarried. So that's what I usually write in the heavy section so that I um, can be praying over those people. The next section is personal. It says share with the Lord your current needs, trials, and fears. So you can write some personal things that you are praying for for yourself here. And that's the same. They give you a bunch in the six month as well. And then this is where it gets really different between the two. The next one for in the yearly is big goals. Invite God to be a part of your dreams for this month and beyond. And then it gives you some blank ones. And then it doesn't have my goals in the six month. It just has a few blank sections for you to fill out on your own if you have other ideas of things that you could be praying for. Next in the yearly is adoration. Think on a quality of the Lord's to meditate on this month. And this is different in the six month. In the six month, it goes right to scripture. So in the adoration part, you can think of something that you admire about God that you can be meditating on. For scripture, you can write a scripture that sticks out to you for that month. And then you can write a quote that you want to think about that month or memorize or whatever. And then lastly, in both sections, it has a space for answered prayers. And that's really cool because we don't always think about our answered prayers. So it's cool to have a spot where you can write those. So that's what the inside of the prompts section looks like. Then it goes on to the next month. And if you flip back here, you have the conversation section. And like I said, this section was divided up into two different sections, but I wanted to use it for the same thing. So I cut the other little tab out about halfway through, but I just use this as a journal, just like I would do my other journaling. I filled this, I think the first three months of the year, I filled it. So that's 2020 Val Marie paper prayer journal and the six month prayer journal from last year. So one thing that I've done with my prayer journal is that I've broken it down into days what I'm praying for. So these are the things I'm praying for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I broke them down like this so that I wouldn't get overwhelmed and have to think about what I needed to be praying for each day. So I usually just pray over each of these sections on each of these days. And then if I have something that's weighing heavy on my heart from a different section, I'll still pray for it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you take the time to be praying every month. Bye!